Sitting elbow to elbow on a packed Boeing 737, but instead of jetting to a seaside holiday, these people have paid $113 for a window seat or $84 for a middle or aisle seat for a flight that both takes off and lands in Budapest. I thought if I couldn't fly abroad this year, then let me fly within the country. I love flying. So far this flight is just like a regular one, even the pesky bits like going through security and having your bag checked, and we've even been through duty free, but one major difference is that the airport is relatively quiet, and now we're at the gate about to board, and my boarding pass is missing a crucial piece of information, the destination. But for most of the passengers the attraction was the journey itself, and it's just as well because it was terrible weather for flying. Not so much as a glimpse of the famous Hungarian sites touted on the planned route, which included Lake Balaton and the Danube Bend. But plane spotter Ferenc David didn't mind. If I had purchased the ticket, I'd have bought it here, next to the aisle, not next to the window. That's where I like sitting during a flight. I love the atmosphere of the whole thing and everything around aviation. About half the people on board had never flown before. The others simply missed the experience of travelling. They miss flying. They want to fly. They want to see the clouds from above. They want to see the sunshine. They want to be together with other people who want to do the same. Climate activists have condemned flights to nowhere as unnecessarily harming the environment, but an organiser of this one says the three flights they offered aren't enough to make a difference. The question of climate change is a different uh, scale issue, I think. Uh, but uh, giving people joy is a great thing. Enduring the cramped quarters and proximity to others with no payoff of landing in a new place may be a baffling concept to some, but for others it's cloud nine.